Welcome to the X-Ring. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Oh yeah. Shh. Shh. Welcome to the X-Ring. All right, so on today's episode, guys, what we've got is a CZ Scorpion with an innovative arms integral suppressor. This has the HB Industries handguard. Uh, I just put this on a couple days ago. I actually did it to a couple of them just to try them out. I think you guys are gonna be really impressed at how quiet this is. Um, it's pretty unique. Guys, this is clear, I've already checked it. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you the end of it right here. They give you a tool that goes in the end and when you insert that in the end, you unscrew it and the whole core comes out so it's very easy to clean. This thing is incredibly, incredibly quiet. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shoot it a few times into the dirt and then I'll shoot a couple of rounds on steel at about 25 yards and you guys can see the differences. Like I said, it's a CZ Scorpion Evo 3 S1, but it has the innovative arms integral suppressor under an HBI handguard. So we're gonna shoot some uh, American Eagle. Let's go ahead and shoot a couple into the dirt. You guys can hear how quiet this is. It's like a pop gun. I'm gonna go ahead and shoot some steel. Hear how loud that is? This thing is very, very effective. Uh, it'll also work on machine guns uh, like the CZ Scorpion, the Evo 3, the A1. Uh, it will work, but it comes with a barrel trunnion and everything else. They're out of Elgin, South Carolina. Really, really cool. Didn't know what to expect when I ordered this, but um, it is very, very effective. Check it out, guys. If you've got a CZ Scorpion and you've got, um, you've got a suppressor that you're wanting to get, this is a really good one to have. No, you can't take it from one gun to another, but if you've got one that you want to dedicate to your Scorpion, this is a good one to get. Hey guys, welcome back. What I want to do is talk a little bit more about this Innovative Arm Suppressor. I actually did the work myself and installed it. Um, you know, you can have them do it, send your CZ in, and then they would do the conversion for you. Uh, if you're somewhat mechanically inclined, yeah, you do have to take the barrel, barrel trunnion out. You do have to split the two halves, um, but it's not that difficult. It takes about 30 minutes. The hardest part is getting that barrel nut off because uh, those have known to be very known to be very difficult. Uh, they do have some specialty tools for that. But uh, we're going to go ahead and do some shooting with this on the plate rack. Uh, this might make a good PCC rifle, so I want to check it out and see how it does. So we'll uh, we'll just go for the plate rack there, and we'll see uh, see what kind of times we can get without putting it on a buzzer, if you will. Man, that's quick. All right, so we'll go for the man steel and the other man steel. We'll go to two shots each. Like playing the drums. Let's try that again. Play Maybe I can play some music. Play some music, funky wild guy. Okay, that I don't is, know what I was playing, was, that, that but was you know a, what? At least we had different tones. <laughs> you tried to do Mary Had a Little Lamb, and you went the wrong... I need a third one for Mary Had a Little Lamb. But either way, guys, this thing's super effective, super quiet. We'll shoot a couple more into the dirt. You guys can tell how quiet that is when it doesn't hit steel. Check them out. Innovative Arms out of Elgin, South Carolina. Great, great suppressor. All right, so here we go into the dirt. Like shooting a little BB gun. All right, we'll go for some steel. We'll make some noise. Guys, you hear how loud that is with the steel? Just unbelievable. I really like this. Very, very innovative. Uh, I like the way that it cleans this front end up. It's really, really cool. We'll do a couple more on the man steels. And just like that, it's done. Innovative arms, CZ Scorpion. All right, so we've got a 12-year-old here. She's going to attempt to shoot this CZ with the innovative arms. Let's go ahead and close the bolt with that lever on the left. All right, let's go ahead and go for that man steel over there. Remember, aim two inches high. Hold it on the orange. Which one? On the far right one. And don't forget to flip your safety down. The other hand, there you go. Perfect. Nice. So easy a kid can do it. Okay, now just try to shoot with the target. Get that weight forward just slightly and just crank away. Just start pulling at the trigger when you've got the sight picture. Keep going. Make sure you got the sight picture. You got plenty.
Nice. Like, share, and subscribe. We'll talk to you guys soon. Hope you enjoyed it. Have a great afternoon.